What's up, what's up guys? I am back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful dress. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made it, stay tuned. Alrighty, so basically I kind of freehand cut out this look, but I did use my pattern um, for my sleeve hole, which I needed it. I usually I'm not the best with actually cutting out the sleeve hole, but for the most part, I can kind of eyeball the rest of the dress. So that's basically what I did. I just kind of marked out my hips, my bust, my waist, um, neckline, and then I just went ahead and cut everything out. Now, this can be done with a pattern, or you can also just use like an old dress or something. Um, my pattern was just like a little too small for my client, and I didn't really have time to make one. So I just kind of freehand cut it out. Alrighty, so now we're just going to go ahead and use that piece from the front, lay it down flat, and we're just going to go ahead and cut out the back. We're just going to trace out this pattern that we already had, as you see me doing, and this will be your back piece. And for this number, this is very similar to our original pattern that we used for the bust. I am not actually tracing this pattern because my client is plus size and this is like a small to medium sleeve. So I'm basically just going in and using that for my shape. And then I'm just kind of like freehanding it. I measured out how long her sleeve was supposed to be. And eventually I had to go back down towards the bottom and like make sure that it was even because it's cut at an angle right now. But, um, yeah, so I just went in and kind of shaped it up and freehanded it. And then here, I basically just went back and recut out everything that I cut out in that top fabric in the lining. And I just basically used those pieces as pattern pieces, and I just cut it out exactly the same way. Now the only major difference was I was running out of fabric of the lining so I had to where there is a fold on the sleeve I ended up having to make a seam right there with the lining but I just added a little bit of seam allowance and had to sew down that seam and it was fine. So here, I'm just laying out our lining for the sleeves. Now, as you know, our sleeves were slightly different from um, our outside fabric. So I'm just going to go in and sew down that seam where um, there is a fold on our outside fabric. But I did not have enough fabric, as I said. So I had to cut a seam down this side, and I'm just going to sew it together. You won't be able to see it. Now here, I'm just laying my fabric out flat. So first, I'm going to lay out my lining. And then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to take my outside fabric and just lay it flat on top. And after I do that, I am just basically going to pin the heck out of it to make sure I don't have any bubbles in the lining or any like ruffles between the lining and the actual top fabric. So here, I'm just basically flattening it out and I'm just going to go through and put like a thousand pins in it.
Alrighty, so now we're just going here and cutting out our little V to the length that it needs to be. So we're just going to cut it out at an angle. And boom, there goes our V. Now next, as you can see, we are just laying our fabric out flat on top of our lining, as you saw we did for the back. And we're just going to put a million trillion pins in it to make sure that everything stays in place. And after we do that, we're just going to go ahead and lay the front on top of the back. And then we're going to pin down the sides. So as we said earlier, as you can see, I'm just pinning everything down the sides. Um, that's why we pin the front and the back so much because we're moving the fabric a good bit. And we just want to make sure that the lining and the you know top fabric actually stays flat. So here we're just pinning down the side and we're going to go ahead and sew that together. doing very similar as we did to the front and back so we're going to lay our fabric on top of our lining and then after we do that i like to go ahead and hem this sleeve first and then i can just go ahead and sew the whole sleeve together So now we're just going in and sewing her sleeve into her arm hold. Um, after that, as you can see, I actually did not hem the V of this dress. I waited till she tried it on to make sure that the V was um, low enough, which it actually was. But I just wanted to make sure before I went in and hemmed it, because to me it's a little bit harder um, to adjust the V after you've already hemmed it. So I just decided not to put the... Um, to be in it yet. 
I mean, well, to him to be it. <laughs> So basically this is our last step. We are just sewing our feather boa on. Now I have a whole video on how to sew on feather boas, but this one will be slightly different just because it's on the bottom of the dress so it needs to be stretchy, right? You wanna take your fabric, which is stretchy, and you wanna be pulling your fabric while you're sewing your boa. So you're not pulling the boa, you're just stretching your fabric out while you're sewing the boa. So basically once you get your dress off the machine your boa should look slightly wrinkled it should look kind of like um yeah just basically very wrinkly and that's what ensures that once she puts it on it will still be stretchy at the bottom and it won't be too tight for her to put her legs in because the boa doesn't stretch so i want to thank you guys for watching i know i know i've been gone for a little minute but everything has been crazy i've been working so much um, but I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the rest of my videos. Also, 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 please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned and make sure you hit that button on that notification bell.